With the upcoming release of Women R4, I'm going to give you a little preview of one of the new filters, which is AI Structure. If you saw my last video, you saw the sky replacement filter. With this video, I'm going to show you four different examples of where I've used the AI Structure, how it can develop your images and how it can affect your images. Plus, I'm also going to dive right in and show you the sliders and how they work with your images. How you can have total control over your edits. So let's have a look at the filter in action to show that you've got control over this, although it's artificial intelligence which brings in detail, depth, structure, slight clarity. I'm unsure exactly what they've done to it, but I'll show you using this image uh, how it actually all comes together and what it, and what results you can get with it. So I've got AI structure down here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boost this. And you can see within the image itself what it's actually doing. So right now you can see if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference that it's made already. If I zoom in to the rocks down here and use the before and after sliders, so that's it after, that's it before. And you can see there's the clarity, contrast, everything within the image, even if you look at the colour of the water within that, everything's changing to a slight punch in your image. What I'll do is I'll zoom out and I'll take it to 100%. That's at 84 just now, that's at 100 Remember, this is a filter, so you have total control over it. You can use the brush, the radial mask, the gradient mask, luminosity, just to affect the areas that you want to try. You can also boost the effect. You'll know where to stop with your images. It depends on the effect you're wanting with your images. But that's it, full boost. Again, I'll zoom back into those rocks. Before and after. Before, after. So you can see the difference just adding that one filter has made to the image. That's it before when we brought it in. Everything's sharpened up and it's got clarity, contrast, there's depth in it that it's creating. At 100% it's way too much for this image. So it's now down to your artistic value and your artistic license and what you're hoping to get out of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that back to around about there. I'm going to turn the boost off for this. But in the same hand, that's the positive effect. It also has a negative effect and then it's down to you what you want to bring out in your image. So I'm going to take this entirely to the negative effect to show you what it does. That's the effect it has at minus 100. Some areas of the image, still quite clear it hasn't affected them, but you can see other areas within it that it's affected. It just depends what you want to get from the filter. So I'll take this up and I'll edit to the point that I'm happiest with for it. And what I'll also do is I'll put up a series of before and afters. I won't go through the edit, I just wanted to show you very, very quickly how the AI structure filter works. As you know already, they're bringing in the sky replacement filter, the AI structure filter, and there is a few more filters. I don't know how many yet but I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with Luminar 4. So I'll take this to a point where I'm happy. I'll edit it and then I'll put up the before and after. Hopefully that gave you a small insight into the upcoming Luminar 4 that's coming out later this year. AI structure filter works depth, clarity, structure, contrast. I don't know, to be honest, how they actually do it, but you can see with the results there with these four different images what it can do to your images. If you want to take it to its extreme, take it to the extreme. If you want to just do it subtly, do it subtly. If you enjoyed that video, big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, totally cool. If you're currently not a subscriber but would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. 
Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.